Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about 3D and animation. So, a couple of weeks ago I've done just... just went through a couple of things that you can animate in Photoshop and uh, I did mention why not 3D and uh, here I am doing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is select text tool and I'm going to write down Photoshop and uh, it will help if it's spelled right. So there we go. So Photoshop. Now to convert 3D, simple, simple. In CS6, you can just click right here on 3D and uh, Photoshop will convert it straight away to 3D. And there you go. And you can see it's very smooth and you can see the shadows real time, which is amazing. Bear in mind one thing, once you get to 3D, it converts the, t the text or the shape to 3D, it will, if you have the the move tool selected, it will automatically get uh, the 3D move tool. So no need of choosing different tools or whatever, just it's everything here. Uh, you do however have different tools for the camera view to uh, zoom in and out, but that's a th something else for another day. So for me to adjust the text, I just select the text layer which is actually called Photoshop. So from now I can just move, as, as you can see I'm actually moving the text itself. So I can just bring down or forward the extrusion depth and uh, get shadows live and uh, it's all here like before and there are a few more cool features but um, I'm going to show you just a couple so you see what's happening. So I've got the Photoshop and now I've got the infinite light which I can just move the light as you can see the shadows in real time it's just awesome so I'm going to select Photoshop and I'm just going to put something like so yeah I'm happy with this and now I'm going to create an animation so I'll just come here timeline and I want to create a video for this so there you go uh, or you can also come here into window and timeline. So right here we have an arrow pointing to the side and there we go. I'm going to just bring this up so you can see what's in here. So as you can see we can animate the position itself, opacity, the style, the, the 3D scene position and even the three lights, 3D materials and 3D meshes which is new in Photoshop CS6. So I'm going to the end of the animation which I want to stop right here because I want to finish like this the animation I'm just going to get this over here I'm happy as it is now very cool so now just make it short it's only for the video purposes so uh, doesn't need to be long it's just for you to have an idea what can be achieved. So, what can we animate now? So, I want to animate, let's say, let's go into 3D meshes and I'm going to animate Photoshop itself. So, Photoshop itself, it will be the, the text. So, I'm just going to bring right here. Well, actually, let's go halfway. And now I'm just going to rotate something like so and now I'm going to oh forgot to say something forgot to do something I'm going to undo so first thing you need to do is 3D meshes and add a keyframe you need to have a keyframe I'm sorry I forgot uh, but it's good so if you see that nothing happens you know what's what happened so now that we have a keyframe to to make this as a, the final point because I moved the timeline to the end so I'm going halfway now now in halfway when I move once I move this it will add automatically a keyframe so I'm just going like so I'm just going like so and now I'm just going just a bit over here and I'm just going like this and now I'm going back to the beginning 
and I'm going to I'm going to zoom right in something like so That's, nothing is happening because I don't know but I've deselected right here the layer so I'm going like so and I'm happy with this so now actually let's get this out of the way so we don't see as you can see I just deselected because I clicked it here go right, right here and I can click something like so and even the shadow is out actually the other one is still in and there we go so let's click play and see what's in here it's still rendering but it's previewing and rendering at the same time so that's why it's like this and uh, you may see when you see right here on the bottom in red means it's rendering so as you can see it's doing everything we've done and it's getting there and I'm going to let it render everything and it will obviously stop on the home position because it's where I've added a keyframe at the end of the clip and very very awesome very awesome so now I just click play and as you can see much smoother very cool okay so we've got this okay very cool let's go back but let's say we want to do something else let's say we want to add, to add a layer mask well we're going to the layers panel and I'm going to show you right here that you can actually add a layer mask right here however I've been trying believe me I've been trying you can't move the layer mask uh, you, you can't animate the layer mask even though it comes in here I've tried believe me I've tried and uh, nothing happens to animate the layer mask so you can just about enable and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the layer mask I'm going to convert this to a smart object and now I'm going to add a layer mask so now what I can do is I'm going to toggle through this and now we have layer mask enable and position so the first thing we need to do is remove this link between the 3D object converted to smart object and the layer mask so selecting the layer mask let's say I want to create something so what shall I do I'm just going like so and uh, I'll fill in in black and I'm going to actually show you what I'm doing so I'm going like so, so you can see the layer mask itself and uh, so I'm just working on the layer mask I'm not doing nothing else just layer mask so like so I'm just doing something random nothing planned here so there you go and I'm going to deselect and I'm going to actually feather a bit this so it looks looks quite cool actually it looks quite cool so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to enable uh, layer mask position and I click right here on the clock so as a keyframe so now I can just come to halfway mark so about three select my move tool and I can just move like so I should have I could have hold shift so it doesn't move back 
up and down so I just go like so and uh, now I'm going to select layer mask and I'm going to add uh, no, actually I'll just leave it as it is and uh, now I'm just going like so and it will get rid of the rest of the layer mask and there we go so very simple I don't know what will come up what will happen now so I'm going to select now I'm, I've selected the smart object and now what I'm going to do I'm going back to the beginning and uh, I didn't plan nothing of this so hopefully it will look cool but at the end of the day the important thing is you can see what's happening and what can be done in Photoshop and the animate 3D and the mask well looks quite cool and obviously it's rendering so after it's rendered it will look much smoother I don't know if you can see but it's actually it's moving the layer mask at the same time as it right here now it went faster and it's out of the way the layer mask and there you go so it's nearly rendered so I, we can see how it's looking yeah and it's done so I'll click play and it does look quite cool mm, I like it so let's say we want to do a bit more than that so we can select the smart object and we can add guess what a auto glow something yeah let's go for auto glow I can add an auto glow I can't see because it's out of the frame as we know so I'll add an, uh, I'm going to add a pinkish not red something so we can see what we're doing I'm going to get the auto red auto glow right here in the middle and just before the halfway mark I'm going to get the auto glow again and I'm going to change it to a pinkish color nah, uh, nah, I'll cancel that I'll change to in the shadow something like so we still have the auto glow oh, I forgot to do something I forgot to add the layer style so we've got like so I'm sorry so we've got now we have the only the outer glow and now we move forward where we can get the drop shadow for instance so drop shadow we get the big one just for the fun of it actually I don't want to drop shadow I'll just go for the color overlay So color overlay, let's change the color to something lighter. I'll click OK. And you can go on and on and you can do lots more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back and I'm going to click play and you can see now what we've done so far. So we've animated the 3D object on its own, added a layer mask to give something to look different, and uh, animated the layer, the layer mask and uh, animated some layer styles all in 3D very easy very cool and but good thing about CS6 it's what I'm about to show you in a second I'm just going to show you this when it's rendered I'm going to show you something cool which is uh, let's say you like this animation and you want to use it for different projects if you were in CS5 you would have to start from the scratch from the very very beginning to edit something like the text well not in CS6 in CS6 you can just go and edit the text as you like anytime you like so I'm going to animate all of this so as you can see something is happening and look at that I'm not a big fan of the last color but well the important thing is for you to see what we can do 
So let's say we want to change the name from Photoshop to my name, Miguel. Very simple. We just double click on this icon because this is a smart object. And there you go, we are back to the 3D. So if, if you want to edit something just on three, in 3D, you are in the right area. But if you click right here on this square now, you go back to the original uh, layer. So, sorry, edit source. And you can change to Miguel, accept the changes in here close save changes yes please and because it's a smart object inside a smart object because bear in mind when you convert something into 3d it's like it works like a smart object we still have this PSV file so we close and save the changes yes please and now it's changed how cool is that okay then that's it for now thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye